Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today's Wednesday and today I want to share with you something that that I read in a book while I was in Thailand. I was reading the book The Art of Power by Thich Nhat Hanh who is a Vietnamese Buddhist monk and if you've never read any of Thich Nhat Hanh's books you got to pick them up. I've been reading his books since I was probably like 15 years old and they've had a, a profound effect on my life and I love how he writes and I love the messages that are in his books and this in this book there was one thing that really stood out to me and he was talking about this one sort of meditation that we need to do often and especially at times when we're maybe in a fight with someone or we're disputing about something or we don't like how someone did something or or we're so in all when we're not feeling very good about something whether we're angry or we're feeling hurt or very sensitive about something at that moment you have to ask yourself am I sure am I really sure that what just happened really happened are you a hundred percent sure it happened that way a lot of times when we're in a situation where someone has either hurt our feelings or we're in a fight with someone or, or someone did something really bad to us is we take that experience with us and we replay it in our minds over and over and over again and we become angrier and angrier sadder and sadder more and more resentful as time goes by and a lot of times that 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 story or that situation how we interpret it could be very different than someone else standing right next to us that saw the same exact event unfold they might interpret it completely different and that's why it's really important that to ask yourself at those times when you're feeling really angry with someone or that times where you feel really hurt you know to ask yourself are you really sure that that this really happened are you a hundred percent sure because even if you're like, you know, you say, because I know when I ask myself this, right? Let's say someone hurt my feelings and I ask myself, am I really 100% sure that, that they meant it? Am I really sure that this really happened the way I saw it? And, you know, then I might be like, well, you know, <laughs> I think probably 99% sure, maybe not 100% sure, maybe 99% sure. And then suddenly, the moment that I sort of admit that to myself, it's like, it's, it's no longer about who's right and who's wrong. Yes, I'm still hurt by maybe what that person said or did, but it has less power over me. It, it hurts me less because I'm not 100% sure that they meant it, that they knew what they were saying or what they were doing, that, that I was completely in the right or that they were completely in the wrong. Suddenly, it's like, I'm not quite sure what really happened. And suddenly, when you admit that to yourself, you let go of your ego. And it no longer becomes who's right and wrong, it just becomes, okay, you know, this thing happened. Now I wanna move forward. And it's up to you how you're gonna move forward with it, and it just might mean that, like, you just move on with your life. But you're no longer caught in that thing of, like, who's right and who's wrong and that you're angry with someone or that you're hurt by something or something has destroyed you. It's, you can move on from things and you feel more resolved knowing that, you know what, things happen. And you don't really know what happened. So you can't dwell in it. You've got to move on in your life. You have to move forward. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so do check out this book though. It's a great, great book. It's The Art of Power by Thich Nhat Hanh. And another one of his books that I do recommend is Old Path, White Cloud. That's one of my favorite books of his. All right, so I'm wishing you guys a fabulous day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.